This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and we are Navigating the Journey. Navigating the Journey is dedicated to exploring the options and choices in life. And today, we are going to explore active aging and over 50? Over oh my 50. goodness, I've got children over 50. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> we are going to talk to my dear friend and project program director, program director at the Waikiki Community Center. And so we are going to learn all about Refresh, Rejuvenate, and Reset Senior Wellness Fair, an active aging activity at the Waikiki Community Center. Welcome, Thank my you. dear. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Marcia. This is quite a pleasure for me to be here and honor. It's always a wonderful thing to be with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Robert, would you send her the check, please? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the Waikiki Community Center. First of all, where is it? What do you do? How long has it been? You know, all those things. Well, the Waikiki Community Center is uh, located in Waikiki, in the heart of Waikiki, between Paul Kalani Avenue and Ohua. We're two blocks ever of the zoo. Now, we've been around for 39 years. And in fact, we're part of what used to be the St. Augustine School. So for 39 oh, so that's behind the, the church there. Yeah, it's behind the church. It's very close to the church. church. So um, for 39 years, we've been dedicated to serving the community of Waikiki and all its surrounding areas. So up to Kapahulu, Mo'ili'ili, Waikiki Diamond Head, uh, Kaka'ako Makali. So if there's anybody that's listening that is a senior, remember when that was the, the jungle. Exactly. Do you remember the jungle? Exactly. I remember <laughs> the jungle. I remember the jungle. Yes. So for anybody that doesn't know, that was a part of Waikiki that had real character, I think. And part of the reason it was called the jungle is that it was so close to the zoo, you could hear the animals. Exactly. And so that was called the jungle. But now it's spiffed up and high rises and you can't hear the zoo. Exactly. I guess, can you hear them? We can hear the zoo. We one, can hear Yeah, them. one yeah. of the things that I love about the Waikiki Community Center, when you go down there, and you have to go, you, you just must, to hear the people, uh, the old tutus playing the ukulele, and hear and watch the hula, and feel the breeze on the lanai. It is old Hawaii, and it's the only place in Waikiki that's left, that's old Hawaii. And so if you really want to experience, that's where you need to go. We are an oasis. Yes. This is how we hold it. We are an oasis and um, a home for the community, essentially. We serve uh, preschool children all the way up to Kupuna. And um, the Thriving After 50 program is all about changing the image of what we consider uh, older adults. What do you mean old? I, I just, I still have trouble thinking that I have children over 50, so, and that they are seniors. That, that really blows my mind, but that's, that's a different story. So, exactly what do you do with aging? Okay. Why, why active aging? What, what is that? Active aging, so, um, when we think about aging, most of us think about sick care or the emphasis has been about sick care and long-term health and financial planning and retirement planning. Um, that's one option. The second option that we sometimes hear about is called anti-aging, the denial of aging period. People that do facelifts and you know cosmetic surgery and on and on and on. And active aging is about remaining active 
physically, emotionally, socially, and um, in retirement and being meaningful, not only to yourself, but to society. So continuing to contribute while uh, working on offsetting uh, the age-related conditions that most of us relate to as aging. So it is possible to, uh, to actually mitigate or extend that active uh, period of life. So when you live in a throwaway culture, they throw away everything. Yes. Everything. Um, if you notice that when women get to be a certain age, they divorce them and then trade them in for some for two 20-year-olds or whatever. And then they put grandma in a nursing home. They just, they constantly throw away. So what do we have to do to change that model? What do we have to do to say that a person at, what'd you say, 50? And 50, 60, 70, 80, now you have people in their hundreds. What do we have to do to change that model? Well, we're, we're actually grappling with that, uh, with that concept because the, uh, the current paradigm of uh, sick aging is so embedded in all the activities that we relate to when we talk about seniorhood. And seniorhood... Um, I like that word, seniorhood. Yeah, okay. so Marsha talks about 50 and, and over. And the reason why we start at 50 is because we're beginning to look at how do we take the continue activity that we, um, that we uh, engage in in the 50s and bring it into the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. So that's part of the concept. It's about um, entraining and bringing um, you know, our younger seniors into the mode of being more active. Um, the whole other thing about active aging is that when you look at the aging population, Hawaii is one of the few states that has the highest growth in, uh, in seniorhood. Um, as an example, every day 10,000 people in the United States celebrate the 61st, 65th birthday and will continue to do that for the next 13 years. So we're looking at about 3.5 million people a year for 13 years. So when you look at that, you can say, okay, the threat is that we're going to need more services for the decrepit, demented, depressed, and debilitated. But look at it another have to way. Be that. No, it doesn't have to be that. And yeah. when we look at the generation, the boomer generation, what I consider the greatest generation that has brought about all of these social initiatives for our country, from equality and equal rights and opportunities, um, I say to myself, well, what are we going to do with that huge resource? It's the largest natural resource that we have available, and can we direct that resource into improving the social condition of our community? So when I think about active aging, that is a major component of the way that I think. So then in programming, I think, well, how do we support people to continue to actively age, to live their life to the fullest while contributing not only to self but society? My daughter is an RN, and she did not become an RN until she was 50. After she had raised her children, done all those things that mothers do, right? then she took care of herself, and she became an RN and she's loving every minute of it, and all of the skills that she learned as a mother, that's what she brings to nursing. Exactly. And she is loving every minute of it. But it's good for her. But it was 50. Right. She, and everybody said, oh, you're so old. <laughs> it's like, well, here I am. And so for her, it was wonderful. It is wonderful. It is wonderful. Mm -hmm. You've done all your work by the time you're 50, all the things you need to do, and you've chosen to do indirectly or directly. Mm -hmm. And now you have time to really look and say, 
you know, I potentially have 50 more years yes. Yes. on this planet. So what am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. You know, I can lay back and so-called retire in the traditional way, or I can, I can create a new chapter in my life where I am more invigorated and more rejuvenated and more committed to the things that matter to me. When she graduated, I was surprised and, and thrilled to see how many older people were in her graduating class. Men as well. Yes. And with that same, okay, I've done all this now, but I'm, I can't retire. Right. So, and, and it was just an eye-opener to see how many people in that class, at least they looked over 50. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's invigorating to yes. see when, you know, what we consider seniors to, to really take action in terms of the things that they really are passionate about. Yes. It, it, it was just, like I said, to, to see this. Now let's get back to your fair. Yes. I love the way you spelled fair. <laughs> Many people have asked me about why I did that quirky spelling of F-A-I-R-E. And primarily it's because I wanted to change up on the, you know, on how people see fairs. You know, to have them kind of take relook at the name, refresh, rejuvenate, and reset. Because this is the opportunity. So, at the fair, uh, the date of the fair is October 7. Right, which is a Saturday. Saturday, October 7, from 2 to 4.30. Yes. At the Waikiki Community Center. So, what's going to happen? Well, we have about 25 or 30 vendors. And um, specifically, I have told each vendor that this is a festive event. It's not about sickness. It's not about um, the things that you usually think about fairs, keeping people occupied with, an, with a hobby. It's not about that, although it can include hobbies. What it's about is looking, um, the vendors we have selected are vendors that, one, prevent the onset, help to prevent the onset of physical conditions that we usually see with aging. But in addition to that, it's also things like uh, when we look at refresh, one of the things that we start out with is, where am I? Where am I in terms of health? You need to well, we are going to take a break, and when we come back, I wanna talk about the rest of the vendors. Because that's an, ex an impressive list. Thank you. We'll be right back. Aloha. I'm Tim Apachaw, host for Moving Hawaii Forward, a show dedicated to transportation issues and traffic. We identify those areas where we do have problems in the state, but also the show is dedicated to trying to find solutions, not just detail our problems. So join me every other Tuesday on Moving Hawaii Forward. I'm Tim Apachella. Thank you. Ted Rawson here, folks, your host on Where the Drone Leads, our weekly show at noon on Thursdays here on Think Tech, where we talk about drones, anything you to do about drones, drones, remotely piloted aircraft, unmanned air crystals, whatever you want to call them, emerging into Hawaii's economy, educational framework, and our public life. We talk about things associated with the use, the misuse, uh, technology, engineering, legislation, with the local experts as well as people from across the country. Please join us noon on Thursdays and catch the latest on what's taking place in the world of drones that might affect you. Welcome back. We are visiting with my dear, dear friend and lovely, lovely, lovely uh, uh, pro-aging. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> pro-aging. Meryl O'Neill, she is the director of projects. Pro at the Waikiki Community Center. And they are having a fair. I love this fair, F-A-I-R-E. Refresh, Rejuvenate, and Reset Senior Wellness Fair. Active Aging. So, tell us, this list of vendors is impressive. So tell us about who they are and what, what we can expect. Okay, so it, the uh, fair is um, purposefully um, titled Refresh, Rejuvenate, and Reset uh, because we feel that it's important that you look at all areas of uh, where you are, um, 
how to rejuvenate yourself, and then how to re-navigate or re, you know, identify use new form. Navigate, that's okay. right. <laughs> re-navigate, <laughs> exactly. So, um, in the area of refresh, as an example, what we're asking, what we're providing, is an opportunity for people to do vision screening. Um, Medication review, Times, uh, Times Pharmacy is sending their pharmacists so that you can bring your bag of pills, they'll look at all your medication to make sure that it's working in synergy. Uh, the vision screening is done for free by Project Vision and they'll even do retinal for, uh, photographs of your retina to identify any uh, early signs of any kind of disease. Uh, we'll have a volunteer ophthalmologist that will go even, even even further on looking at those retinal screenings. Um, we have all the Medicare Advantage uh, plan uh, representatives from UHC, Humana, Kaiser, uh, Aloha Care, um, HMSA. And we also will have a pharmacist that's there to do flu shots, so be sure to bring your identification as well as your, uh, your health card. Rejuvenate looks as exercise, dance, music, and art. And so we'll have demonstrations of activities at the center, from Zumba to Tai Chi to tap dancing to art and music, etc. cetera. And um, Reset is all about um, creating your new chapter after retirement. And for that group, we have um, uh, individuals that, like Dr. Cullen Hayashida will be speaking. He is the founder of the Kupuna Care Education Center at KCC, mm -hmm. uh, an elder care advisor. And his program is called um, uh, Retire or Rewire. And he's currently oh, with St. Francis. Yes. He's currently <laughs> with St. Francis. Mm -hmm. So St. Francis has that component. They also have a, um, a resource guide for all kinds of services for uh, those of us who are maturing, <laughs> and <laughs> as well as uh, care services if needed. Um, we have wonderful options, like we have a program on um, pain management. And maybe you want to mention that uh, Royal Hawaiian CBD. Well, that's, yeah, that is, um, the Royal Hawaiian CBD is about the use of hemp, right. hemp oils, hemp lotions, and what have you, um, as a, in exchange or rather than the heavy opiates. Exactly, exactly. And it's, it's a natural product, it's legal. Anybody that gets plenty kind, it's totally legal in all 50 states. We're not selling anything, we're just demonstrating. Right. And then we also have um, the um, sound table music therapy. Now, right. this is an age-old therapy where people listen to music. It's a one-on-one, -on -one. it's not a big demonstration, well, one-on-one, -on -one, where people listen to music of their culture, yeah. their age, whatnot, and it stimulate somehow the brain so that that music brings back some something that's been lost. I watched on the television and they had followed a woman for 50, the, well, she for several years, I don't remember, and you could see her deteriorate and then when they tried the music therapy, you could see her face and the life came back and it, it was the most incredible thing I had ever seen. So I am looking forward to the music therapy. Well, this music therapy is known, uh, you know, my husband was involved in music therapy uh, maybe about 30 years ago, and we have found it, noticeable changes in the physical, emotional, um, the thinking skills, and uh, fulfilling the social needs right. of the individual. So it's it's rejuvenating yes. this music therapy. Um, in addition to that, um, as I mentioned before, time, uh, time Pharmacy is going to be there, but we're also going to have the Honolulu Police Department, Red Cross will be there to uh, provide uh, uh, information on 
disaster uh, preparedness. Uh, in addition to that, they are also doing a, um, a smoke detector, smoke alarm uh, program where they will provide smoke alarms to seniors as well as, especially to families that have children. It's not limited to an age group whatsoever, although that seniors and children are the priority groups. The Hon Honolulu Police Department, if I haven't mentioned, will be there, uh, St. Francis, um, Catholic Charities, um, our own programs of course. will also be there. Now, where do you have room for all of this? This sounds like a really big event. Where, where do you have room for all of well, this? Well, we'll have everyone in the auditorium for the private, or we also have nutrition counseling. So if you have a particular illness that you're dealing with, there will be a nutritionist there that will support you with um, with counseling on the kinds of foods to eat and how to make the choices. And all. The auditorium will hold at least 25. We have breakout rooms for additional people. Um, the Project Vision van actually, RV will be parked out That's in the right. parking lot. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. We're making it work. I'm not sure <laughs> that. I'm sure that. I am sure that. This sounds really exciting. There's so much, and I said, I'm, and I checked off. I want to see this. I want to see this. What is a lifestyle machine? Oh, um, Ikahi Ornish is actually a lifestyle uh, health program for particular for particularly for people that have cardiac disease. Oh. And so, um, you know, I read about Dr. Ornish, who's actually from uh, I believe it's uh, University of San Francisco. I'm not sure. Someplace in the Bay Area, and he's done work with individuals, food, nutrition, uh, exercise. Um, you know, all the medical kinds of things, and people have recovered and improved Ooh. their physicality through Wonderful. this program. Wonderful. So we're not selling anything, we're just introducing yes. people to ways to, to kind of prevent or delay the onset of uh, physical, physical um, uh, conditions. Okay, we have a minute left. So real quick, tell me about the Kidney Foundation, when I read that Hawaii has such a huge percentage of diabetes, can we, uh, what's, uh, do they go into this? Yes, what they'll do is they'll do pre-assessments, and then of course there's the nutrition piece to it. Mm -hmm. So because our time is short, I just want to make sure that people know that the Refresh, Rejuvenate, and Reset Senior Wellness Fair not only for seniors, but for everyone, um, is happening at the Waikiki Community Center on Octo Saturday, October the 7th, from 2 to 4.30. Now, it's free. It's free. And tell me that you mentioned that it's open to everybody, and you're going to have the people taking, giving their flu. What about bringing your youngsters for the flu shot? Is that okay? Um... I think it is. I'm not sure. I can check with our... Uh, well, that's okay, but I just, you know, of course we're thinking senior, but let's suppose that I have to bring my grandchild with me. Are they open to the vaccination, the flu? Because everybody should have it. Right, right. Well, yeah. it's just like the pharmacy. Any pharmacy that offers flu, flu shots, it will be available to that same audience. Be sure to bring your, uh, your health care insurance card as well as your ID, because if there is a copay, they will let you know. Okay. Right. So it's not, a, it's not a free, it's more a convenient service. And uh, we encourage you to, uh, to register. Our telephone number is on the, tele, on the, uh, on the screen. It's 923-1802. This way we can prepare for the crowd. Well, we want you to have a crowd. We really do. <laughs> Thank you, Marsha. I, I appreciate I, that. I am looking forward to this, and I love, again, we're back to the title, Refresh, Rejuvenate, and Reset Senior Wellness Fair, F-A-I-R-E, <laughs> Active Aging. And for anybody that's saying, well, but that is the original, uh, uh, English spelling. That's right. Uh, old English spelling. Old English spelling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank when you. when the whole month of May was dedicated to the fair. And it's going to be faster yes. than fun and uh, be prepared not to be bored. Yes. <laughs>
Again, thank you so much. We will see you next week. Aloha. Aloha.